What is clearly a scam but is so normalized people don't notice. Those key master games that usually have something like a switch and a pair of beats and stuff. I work part time at an arcade and you physically cannot win a prize until the machine has taken its retail equivalent in cash. Is there any hacks to win this stuff? Can confirmed. I worked at an arcade and this was blatantly explained to me by the manager. Some of the machines I had, mostly the giant crane machine we had, would just shut off if it didn't make a certain amount of money at a certain point. Printer rink. Buy a laser printer. Expensive upfront but pennies in the long run. Most come with scan slash fax features that comes in handy in the new work from home era. Printer companies often sell their low to medium end printers at a massive loss because they know they'll profit of just a couple of ink purchases. Bottled water, like Dasani. Especially in places like an amusement park that mark ups the price a shocking amount. Also the average markup of bottled water is 4000%, which is fucking outrageous, BC water is literally free most places. I'm fuzzy on the details but Warp Tour got in a lot of legal trouble here in Canada because of water. They were in the habit of taking any water bottles or drinks from you when they checked your bag at the gate. Then you get inside and everything costs money. The energy drinks and pop cost less than the water, so most people would buy those instead. One woman bought energy drinks all day because it was a hot summer day, and she wanted to save money for merch. She had a heart attack and died. Now they aren't allowed to confiscate water at the gate. Not to mention the environmental impact of bottled water. They'll put some slogan or story about their eco-friendliness on the bottle, but we all know everyone's just throwing them into the regular garbage. I just paid for the privilege of setting up my router. My cable company recently started trying to charge me for my router. Which I own. I got a notice saying we noticed an error in billing and we will be charging you for the equipment rental starting in December. The fuck you will, I have every receipt from every cable or phone transaction I've ever done for that exact reason. I paid outright for my router so I wouldn't be renting their shitty equipment at $12 per month. Now they want to charge me for my own property. After receiving that notice I hopped right onto customer service to get it resolved, and they directed me to their loyalty department because they could best handle it over there. I cut off the conversation and just cancelled my service. Cable companies are pure scum. Who and for what router so the rest of us can stay the hell away from them? Payday loans. I used to work as a debt collector for a payday loan company in the UK. I was not a very good debt collector. People used to find out about the various loopholes that stopped interest being added really easily. I worked there just before Christmas. It is the job that made me go back into education. Because. My soul. Scientific journal memberships. Where academics pay journals to publish their papers which are then peer reviewed by volunteers and the journals themselves are then sold by subscription. Scientist here. 100% true. What's funny is that as scientists, we just want our work out there to be seen. No desire for money or anything. But it's a frustrating loop, because journals like Nature, Science, etc. are so desirable to get your work published, we have to spend our time trying to get into these journals for our work to be the most respected. I'm a big advocate of open source and freedom of information. Ticketmaster. Yes, basically scammers adding huge marks up but making it impossible to use anyone else. Fuck Ticketmaster. Often, the point isn't the not noticing, but the having a lack of better alternatives. What's worse is when the companies try to do right and we force them back into scamming. Stores like JCPenney sell $10 shirts for $20 at a percent 50 discount. They also inflate the price of belts, wallets, and underwear but then lower the price of pants. It all evens out but the customer gets the satisfaction of getting a deal. Once they tried to get rid of that with a fair and square pricing strategy but it almost bankrupted the company and it never fully recovered. P. 
People don't want to buy cheap stuff. They want to buy expensive stuff at a discount so they feel like they're getting a bargain. Fuck. Spectrum cable and internet. Fuck I had to get that out. My friends and family are stuck with this company because there's no competition. Renter own furniture and appliances. Worked in solar construction for a while where you would travel to the middle of nowhere to work on a site, so they gave us a housing fund to rent a place during the job. People would get the rent to own furniture and charge it to the housing money as a living expense. Company was cool with it and once it was paid off the worker got to keep it. There was an episode of Hotel Impossible where the owner rented the couch in her lobby on a weekly basis for years. She could have bought multiple couches with the money she spent on that one couch she doesn't even get to keep. Every single person on the internet that sells some sort of millionaire education it's all bullshit. Every single one of them. They are all fucking liars, most of them are not even rich to begin with. They fake it enough that some idiots buy it. You are customers to them. Nothing more. You want to be a millionaire? Buy my book and I'll tell you how. You buy the book and it says to start a website selling a book on how to be a millionaire. Social media. From their happy beginnings they are now mostly a funnel used to ram as many advertisements into your mind as in a humanly possible. Sponsored posts every third or fourth item, I see you, egg slash fb slash red slash etc. And that's not even mentioning the extensive filtering network that curates the information you get to see when you are looking for something. Curated information is just a nice expression for you being conditioned to form certain opinions, buy more stuff. Social media groom minds. Yes. And it's gotten way worse in the last year or two. Add videos crashing the page and such. My absolute favorite are the lifestyle influencers whose entire bullshit persona is about giving up their job and living a simpler life traveling around without material possessions blah 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 which is all paid for by turning themselves into a living breathing billboard to sell material possessions and bullshit. The games of fairs slash carnivals. There's a Mark Robber video about carnival games, surprisingly interesting for a video about statistics. I feel like the con has changed a lot, at least locally to me, over the last few decades. When we go to our city's town name fest the carnival games almost all give every player a prize. The prize is just worth less than what you pay to play. Pay $5 to play, get a stuff, or you could get off Oriental Trading Company for $1 each. Everyone walks away happy, except the parent who has an OTC catalog. I encountered this same phenomenon at a carnival style game at Dollywood a few years ago. Loot boxes in video games. Legalized gambling marketed to children. Internet data cap. Fucking scammers. Hot MILFs in your area. It is my understanding that they are interesting in meeting me tonight. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.